channel. I hope you're doing as well as possible. I'm sending you so, so much love and support wherever you are, whatever you're moving through. I just really hope that this can be a safe space for you, a comforting space for you to relax and hopefully get some really beautiful, rejuvenating, healing sleep. Okay. I want to thank all of you for being here and for your incredible comments and for subscribing. I've had a few new subscribers recently, a little as well, so I wanted to say thank you. Um, just know that I have a, an enormous amount of gratitude for all of your support here, okay? So, to go ahead and jump right in and start, we're going to use some crystals today uh, for this healing, and I'm going to start with a selenite wand, which we are going to run through your aura. And just do some kind of superficial energy clearing. Just very gently kind of removing any of that surface gunk that might have latched on from your day or whatever you're coming into this session with. So we're going to start at the crown. And we're going to work our way down. Gorgeous. And as we move through your aura, feel free to adjust. Make this your time. Carve out some space for yourself, my friend. Because you deserve it. You take up space. Great, so now we're going to do a little bit deeper clearing and I'm going to use the selenite wand a little bit differently so instead of kind of going through like this we are going to use it or like this, almost like a little rod or something, and we're going to flick that energy off. This is more kind of energetic plucking. Energetic plucking. So I'm going to really start doing a little bit deeper extractions of some of this energy, starting in the primary chakras, okay? And if you're not new here and you've seen my videos before, then you're, you know what this is all about. <laughs> okay. As we move through, feel free to just close your eyes. Adjust your body in whatever way feels kind of most comfortable for you. Find some comfort. Find comfort in your breath. Find some kindness, some self-kindness in this space. I think for so many of us, we don't really give ourselves permission to rest. And a few of us have talked about this in the comments. But this just enormous pressure, the, you know, this kind of overwhelming pressure of productivity and fear of not living up to our potential, things like that, that can 
really deter us from caring for ourselves, caring for ourselves, having compassion for ourselves, you know. So we really just want to invite this time for a deep sense of balance. And if you don't give yourself permission to rest, if you don't have anyone in your life who gives you that permission, I just want you to know that I am granting you that permission right now until you're able to fulfill that for yourself. I'm giving you permission to rest, to release, because you deserve to rest. So one of the most productive things that we can do is resting, so Try your best to be kind to yourself and just give over to this moment. I want you to just release the outside. Release the outside world. It's just you and me. And it's your time to rest, okay, my friend? Great. Now, I'm going to light our candle and set our intention. And you're free to do that now as well if you'd like. I'm so glad that you have been enjoying the little point of view Reiki session that I did um, this past week. It was fun to, to do that one a little bit different from what we usually do over here. So that's, that was a fun one to put together. I'm glad you've been enjoying it. I've gotten a lot of nice comments and from, from you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just always want to remember to thank you in, in videos as well as in the comments and stuff for, for that. <laughs> this candle smells really, really nice. It's a very comforting smell. Fur and suede. The, yeah, just, I don't know, I just really like it. Okay. So at this point, if you wanted to think about what you'd like to set for your intention for this session and also for your intention for this sleep, this beautiful rest that you're about to embark upon, 
indulge in luxury what would you like to set as an intention maybe for tomorrow or for when you wake up I know not everybody um I know a few of you sleep during the day and have um, jobs in the evening. I don't want you to feel left out of me. So what would you like to set for that time when you wake up? You can choose any of these or incorporate all of them in your intention. The most important thing is that you set an intention with clarity of mind and heart. So. Okay. On behalf of your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned self in loving comfort and perfect balance I wish to conduct this distant Reiki session for balancing and aligning your chakras while you sleep So that when you awake, you feel well rested and rejuvenated. Now if you want to clarify or specify or set your own intention, as long as it's in service of your and everyone else's wisest most empowered selves. I will honor this now and open the flame for you to do that here. Okay, great. I'm going to place this right here to flicker away throughout our session. I really feel called to do a bit of extra clearing and what I'd like to do is start with the loudest of the uh, different tools that we're going to use so I'm going to start with this owl rattle just so that at the end of the session we don't have anything that could be too jarring So, just as before, I'm going to start at your crown and move down, okay? We're just going to use this to kind of create a really beautiful vibration in your aura. Really thick, protective energy field here. Okay, starting again at your crown.
Lovely. I'm going to do a little bit of spray. This is charged in the full moon. We're doing another new moon live stream. We're going to be doing this every month, I think, from now. Just been so amazing connecting with you on these live streams. And so if you are interested in joining for the live stream for the new moon, I'll leave that information in the description box down below. So, I think the new moon is on the 8th of August. Coming up here. And we'll do it probably closer to the evening, my time, which is Pacific Standard Time. But I'd love to see you there. It's been really incredible revisiting our manifestations from the previous month. And but I'll leave all that. a nice hangout time. I love that sound. This is a lavender spray. It's really, really just a, a very relaxing, soothing, not super floral. Doesn't have that kind of soapy uh, scent that a, a lavender can sometimes it just feels very, very floral and fresh. Spring tea, right? Not to your left here. Down at your feet. And above your lovely head. And this mist, this aura mist, it just cascades down around you. Enveloping you. Cooling, soothing mist. It helps to further thicken your aura as well as to fill your energy field with the properties of that lavender. Calming, healing, soothing lavender. Good job. Give over to this moment of rest and care and peace. We don't need any distractions. We don't need anything that's not right here. Just be here with yourself. Be considerate of yourself, okay? Consider what you need. Consider what you want in this moment. Consider your feelings. 
consider yourself. And if we can arrive in a space of self-consideration here, perhaps one day we can expand that and arrive at self-consideration in moments that might feel a little more stressful. And then, ideally, we can slowly begin to arrive in a place of self-empowerment, self-worth, and self-love so that we can extend that consideration further beyond our beautiful selves to others who might be hurting, who might feel lost we have to take our time and be patient and be considerate of ourselves first. Another reason why this kind of work is incredibly productive. Patience and softer side. These things are enormously important. And so often disregarded. Or even discarded in lieu of smashing that productivity Crushing it, killing it. <laughs> I just spoke to somebody the other day who was speaking like that. Really, like, crushing it. <sighs> Which that energy is, is great to have as well. We need a balance. <laughs> I'm not trying to mock that. We really need that balance. But very often, like rest, we don't give self-love the priority that it deserves. We don't see it as being productive in the same way that we don't see sleep as being productive. Which just feels very... feels a bit short-sighted to be kind to ourselves and then we can be kind to others but this is where it starts okay. I'm going to draw the symbols outside of your heart center and then we're going to do a little bit less chatting cut it all out at the beginning we're going to do a bit of further clearing with the smoke
further still some sage gonna light it up our candle as well to preserve the intention that we set and continue clearing anything not in service of that intention, okay? Breathe in this beautiful smoke Let it swirl and swim inside of you Clearing any blockages Any tension in its path Let it heal you. Gonna let this continue to smolder away here. And we're gonna do a little bit of work with some stones. Now I know that some of you have started placing a grid out. When we're doing these videos together, which that's so cool to me that you're expanding and you know participating in the practice in that way and expanding beyond what we're doing here in some of the sessions. So if you are one of those who's been participating in that, feel free to do that now. I'm not going to do a grid today. But I am going to move through with some stones, okay my friends? So we're gonna start with this angelite. I have some clear quartz, amethyst, and labradorite as well. So to help you balance your chakras, we're gonna move through one at a time. Starting at the crown. Angelite is a beautiful stone for healing sleep, calming, soothing stone. Moving into the third eye area now. Oh, 
on the throat. in the heart space. the solar plexus. This is an important area to send this energy to. So often it's hard for us to turn off that active go-getter productivity time-conscious mind. So we want to just give that space permission to just tip off at this news. You can crush it later. Now in the sacral. Soothing those emotions, any strong emotions, soothing the space. In the root, soothing in the root, staying a few inches from your body, about a bit of foot away from your body. And Sending the soothing, calming energy into the root. Any areas of stress, if you're feeling ungrounded, just sending that energy into that space. Okay. I'm going to use this little amethyst point and I'm going to do the same thing here. Just kind of carving in this and the different chakras, drawing the activation symbol. Just sending this focused, aligned energy into your aura. Amethyst is a wonderful stone for aligning spiritual connection. A great stone for meditation, balancing the vibration. 
vibrations, particularly upper and lower, like using amethyst and smoky quartz for that. going to move this little laboratorite through your mental plane and I just want to show you the little flashes then I'm going to place this on your third eye I'm giving you permission to let go of the day. Let go of whatever you've come into this session with. You deserve serenity and care. You deserve rest. You deserve kind of beautiful healing you deserve restful sleep it's a relaxing so just placing that right on your third eye gorgeous I'm gonna do a little So activating that it's gonna cause you to wake up. This is just activating this beautiful positive energy within you.
going to place this amethyst cluster right on your crown. We're going to allow this energy to just beam up into the cosmos, creating this beautiful channel of light. You are divine. You are connected. You are expressive. You are loved. You are strong. You are creative and you are emotionally balanced. You are safe. So I'm trying to do it like a piano. I wish to call in guidance from these cards. I love metallic sounds. There's like clicky clacky sounds. But it's just how kind of a funny smell. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, when I first used it, I was like, 